This is um, a process that we actually use in higher level math to when we start working with spring math systems. But right now, we're just kind of utilizing the process so that when we use it under a certain different context in another class, we don't have to worry about doing the math. We can just do the process or do the context. But here's the process. I mean, it tells you exactly if I have a function that's written a1 sine bt plus a2 cosine bt, I can rewrite it as capital A sine bt plus phi. Now notice this b here is the same as that b there is the same as that b there. And it tells me that a is defined, capital A is defined as the square root of a1 squared plus a2 squared. And phi is just equal to, or tangent of phi is equal to a2 over a1. So it's pretty straightforward here. Now the angle phi is determined by the equations, la 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 la. So this is pretty much telling you its placements as well. I mean, like what quadrant you're in. Now, if I look at this guy here and I compare it to this guy here, this tells me that a1 is equal to 4, a2 is equal to 3, and b is equal to 2. So I, that, I've just drawn all that information out of there. So I know that capital A, which is the one that is right here, is equal to the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared, or a1 squared plus a2 squared. That's going to give me the square root of 16 plus 9, which is the square root of 25, which is 5. Now, uh, phi, tangent of phi, is equal to a2 divided by a1. Now, three, course, three quarters isn't anything that's standard on a unit circle, so we can go ahead and use our calculator and uh, find phi. So this means that phi is equal to tangent inverse or arctan, however you want to say it, of three quarters. Let me scroll that up a little bit. Now I'm just going to pop that in my calculator. Second tangent inverse of three divided by four. And that gives me a number of 0 0.6435. 0 0.6435. So that's what phi is. Um, and you can use these other two here to test to see if you're right. You can do A1, which is 4 over 5, and then see what the cosine inverse is, but we're fine with just this. So in the end, if I use my formula, I have that 4 sine of 2t plus 3 cosine of 2t is equal to A, capital A, 5 sine of bt, or in our case 2t, plus phi, which is 0 0.6435.